or Williamson County, this is Week in Review. Summit Homecoming Parade was in our school. What do you think, Finnegan? It was fabulous. We're here at Lipscomb today doing our BizTown interviews. I'm applying for the job meteorologist slash reporter. I'm applying for the job of healthcare manager. We are making electromagnets using nails and enamel coated wires and batteries. Today we watched the Ravenwood Homecoming Parade and watched all the floats and cheered for them. Today is Franklin High School's inaugural volunteer fair. We decided to bring in outside agents that are nonprofit groups that our students could become a part of. Today's picture day. Cheese! We're getting started to make a food drive. The food drive is a wonderful way to change the world right here in Franklin, Tennessee. We are doing a book tasting for our um, specials. We're learning how to play jailhouse rock on the guitar and on the deep one. Today, Mr. Boy is Johnny Appleseed. Today we got an author visit from Katrina Yang Blaser. She's a really cool author and she gave us some really good advice. We were going over how to figure out if there are certain chemicals, lipids, and certain things in certain foods to figure out how we can determine if certain things are healthy or not. We did a explosion with a pumpkin and we used baking soda and dishwash soap and green food coloring. To get ready for our, our palooza, we are having spirit week. We got to perform for the elementary students for the first time. We are preparing for our fall concert on October 25th. We saw webs in the cup and the caterpillars were about to form into their cocoon. Honey apple seed. He plants apples and we can taste them. He makes them by apple seeds. We have uh, several of our kids or students here and we wanted to help participate in Spirit Week. We did a digital footprint and checked people's backgrounds. Welcome to Volleyball Senior Night. We went on to a field trip to Alice Hill Sanctuary. This week was a Tigger's Week at Westwood. We got bracelets and snow cones. We got popcorn and drinks. And Friday we got to tape the principal to the wall. I'm at Nolan's Hill High School in Geometry class and we're learning all the points and planes of a basketball court. We are trying to get the oil out of the ocean. We are using clay to represent imagery of a scene in an Edgar Allan Poe story. This is my landforms project, and um, we had to do glaciers of waters and landforms. Today was homecoming parade day at Free Station for Summit. Woo! Super Woo! exciting! Woo! We're learning about how the butterflies lay like a grown change. We are part of the Mill Creek Charger Council. We participate in fundraisers throughout the year and welcome new students with a special meeting where we tell them about our school. We are also part of the Be Nice campaign. We're using dry ice to learn about sublimation. We learned about a owl's hairball and that we're separating the bones and the hairball into different piles. This is Paris at Piggy at Grass and Elementary. I'm having so much fun. Today is Butterfly Releasing Day in second grade. Today was fun day, so like we did people's hair and nails and all that. It was pretty fun. We've been studying life like all butterflies. I was on the Best Buddies float and it was fun. It was interesting and fun. This is the Summit Homecoming Parade at Now. I like shooting archery because it is fun and it helps you get better at it. Well, our class is in the library checking out the banned books display. Today we have there, we learn about drug resistance program. We're rehearsing the Brentwood High Fall production for To Kill a Mockingbird, which runs through October 11th, 14th. We just saw, got a visit from the Nashville Zoo. We saw a box turtle, a snake, a opossum, a porcupine, and a barn owl. Check out all the fun events at Cloverfest at Clovercroft. We are at a homecoming float parade waiting for the floats to come. Make sure we're in it, okay? Thank you to our Good News Ambassadors and high school media teachers for submitting this week's fantastic footage. We have our annual family math night. We have it every year where our students and their parents can come up and spend the night and the evening together doing math. Today is math night. We get to do fun games and activities. Yeah! Here at math night we have awesome fun games. We have paper airplane, we have mini golf, we have guessing whether how many Starbursts there are, or 
dum dums, what grade you're in, dum and what you like to do out of four categories. And when you get to the gym, we have all of our sports games where the students have to answer equations, find their scores, and get to be active at the same time. Mini golf. Well, what else about like say it with me? Too. Paper airplanes. Paper airplanes. Whoa! Well, I think it's really great because it gives the kids a chance to show off what they've learned to their parents because a lot of things they are like, oh, this looks familiar, and they can show their parents they're learning, and I think it kind of demystifies math that it's um, something that's supposed to be boring. It really is fun and interactive. <laughs> but you can get through it. We want kids to grow up knowing that math can be done and they're not someone who's not good at math, that they can all be good at math and if you make it fun then they feel confident and they're ready to tackle more difficult problems. I love math guys. I love seeing the interaction between our staff and our parents and our students. It's just a really positive experience for them to see what we do here at Clovercroft and to interact in a really fun, and kind of easy way. I just think it's a great way for everyone to connect and have a good time. I love Matt. I'm gonna slime the principal! Yay! Today I'm going to be sliming Dr. Goff because I sold 20 um, City Saver books. I promised that if you sold 20 City Saver books or more, that you could slime me. Because it's my last year here, because I'm in fifth grade, and I really wanted to slime Dr. Goff this year, so. I'm going to just put it all over her head. Slime is really sticky, and you can't really get it off your clothes. Like a big bucket of it, and now I'm going to dip it on her head. Slime is really sticky, so. Quiet in the stands because I have to mentally prepare for this event. Because like if you get in your hair, you kind of had to cut your hair sometimes, so. Ah! It's gonna look green or whatever color. I just dumped the whole thing with her and me on the whole head. Probably gonna throw it all over her, so. I'm gonna say, yeah! Yeah, I'm like, yeah. No, I'll do this. That principal is so sweet. A little bit sad and a little bit happy. Actually, no, I would not recommend this for a facial. This is actually a reward for um, the children who sold 20 or more City Saver books in a recent PTO fundraiser to help our special related arts. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just signed the principal. I'm learning to drive my new Jeep. I'm still getting used to this scooter. I'm learning to play a sport. Please look out for me. Don't drive distracted. Put the distractions down. And just drive.